Hey, Blue Table fans, demon fire of happiness. Be happy or burn. Okay, so it's time for the studio update. Oh, go, go ahead. Come on, Angie. You know, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do. Let's do. Hold on, stop. Okay. So here's here's what we're gonna do. So you just got some water, right? Sure did. Okay, we're gonna do like a GoPro cam, oh, an Angie go. GoPro cam. So okay. go ahead. Should I bob and weave? Yeah, this isn't very realistic. Hold on, I'm gonna have to actually attach it to your head. Here we go. Now, that's, now, that, we, now that's we get a close realistic. up of John. Here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna see. This is the Angie cam. We're gonna see everything and we she sees. You can just tip your own pros to our heads up. if you wanted to, right? Yeah, I've actually considered that. Okay. <laughs> Force us to work. You gotta get the you gotta get the John scowl in there. Right. Uh, what is he doing? <laughs> Here's a question for you, Sean. Okay, anyway. It's all good. Thank you, Angie. You're a real sport. Give her a hand, everybody. Yeah. yeah. She went along with it. Placing a war store order. Like a oh, you are. Stuff. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, I'm ordering, <clears throat> possibly, the okay. entire line of the Cephalix or basically good. the good rest of the you. line of the pigs that I don't have. Okay, good. And what should he do? What which one should I do is? first? Oh, Cephalix. Yeah. Do something new. Yeah. Yeah. It was always better. Because you can, you can, you can play. Your pigs are playable. Yeah, yeah. And you can points. just add one thing to them. I was gonna say get to a caster. He only has one caster, so right. that way that changes the entire play style. Right, but okay. you gotta, you gotta get your cephalix going, man. I'll get the cephalix and then strum and drain. Okay. Strum and drain. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. And run yeah. and run and. Oh yeah, run and lug. Those are those are the characters that are using for Pathfinder. Oh, you know, run and lug. You know, the thing about the Oh, that's right. Oh, that's fantastic. Perfect. Oh, dude, I did not know that. Did you make the character based on using those? No. I, I was doing oh, that's that. brilliant. Did, did, did you just see it there and you're like, now, oh my god. I was like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I if, forgot about if you that. do that, I won't go out of my way to kill your bear. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear about that? No, I, I, I don't know whenever they start talking about whenever people start talking he about He kills that. companions. Oh, yeah. He likes to kill like, or, yeah. stuff. Well, because people are like, Any LARPing role my, uh, my raven, my raven scouts ahead. And I'm like, oh god, now I gotta deal with this raven and describe. Big spider you know, grabs. Let's the go in the other room, just us two, and describe what happened, what your raven sees, because you have a raven. No. So anyway. A big spider. Here's what your raven sees: a giant fireball coming up from the earth. Ah, oh, I I try and avoid it. I try and get into the trees. It's you do, but what's your movement again? 60 feet. Ooh, it's 120 foot radius, so... You're dead. Yeah. I still like a giant spider just Okay, so here. your raven uh, takes 68 points of damage. How many hit points does he have? Six. Six. Yeah. What kind of companion is that? Right. Minus 68 hit points, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, holy crap. That's yeah, not going to... scouting. He'll probably it's survive the fireball, it's actually. It's a bear. It's a bear. <clears throat> All right, that's fantastic. Cool. All right, thanks for the opinion. Okay, so um, there you go. It's good times. You're slow but steady. Roberto rocking his Wolverine chops. They're looking good, by the way. And these aren't just for looks. <clears throat> <laughs> so how's it going, Sean? Oh, it's going good. Working on these towels. Yep. I got an Irvarna going here. Yep. Had him posed a bit. Oh, this is brilliant. So he's got like ripples coming out from his foot. Yeah. Kind of his uh, jet engines, kind of <coughs> giving him a little boost as he heads over the water. Oh, I love this. This little pilot. Yep. Okay, great. So he's magnetized in there. Oh. So this is an example of something we get quite a bit where a client sends an army already painted and uh, he has us refurbish and expand on the army. Mm -hmm. So I think I've come up Now, whoa, 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 what, what are the magnets doing here? What is that for? All right, let me show you just a second. So, you want to use the recon drones. Okay, got it. Now, the recon drones have this, they're fairly large, but yeah. they sit down inside the tank. Yeah. Okay. So. Do you even need a magnet for that? It helps. It's a little one there. Okay. But, uh, so, yeah, right oh, now you, you have magnets on the other stuff, or do they just mm -hmm. sit there? Okay, yep. great. So, and I think I want to come up with a new way to do hammerhead magnetizations, because okay. usually they can be a little cumbersome to get done, a little painstaking, but now... Because you got to put the plate in there. All right. Actually, I just did a ring magnet and a ball. What? 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 
I love that. Dude, that is brilliant. What? <laughs> So because it's great. how I used to do it was uh, it had that little lump there and I'd drill straight through it and then get the magnets in both sides of the, uh, the weapon. So I'd be using like three or six. Did you just say I'd be using? I would be using. Oh, thank you. I English good. I, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know if that's where you were going with it. It's not that. my native language or anything. Uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, but... I would usually end up using six of the disc magnets uh -huh. and, you know, just burning through a lot of them, just trying to get that, you know, be stable and working. It's right. like, you have these ring magnets, they keep sending us samples, let me try this. <laughs> so, I think it's yeah. brilliant, I love it. I like it, and it's nice and strong too. Okay. So, well, I that's really great, Roberto, uh, yeah. thanks a lot. Yep. And Not funny at all. <laughs> that was not funny at all. Come was, on, there's no second kind of like, opinion. Kind of like a train wreck. Yeah. Only one that was it? Slightly off. No, you did great. Slightly Are you kidding me? Way. I thought it was great. Oh, she uh, did great. It was your so idea. here's it's my inspiration for my Necrons. Uh, yeah, try, try to be in it. Oh, that's just a McDonald's story. No, you did fantastic. Hey, McKenna, how's it going? Good. Saw you come in. By the way, we went to check on you and see if you had uh, gone to class. I did. Uh, yeah, we didn't see your bike out front. Edit all. Yeah, busted. <laughs> oh, should I get rid of that whole thing? <laughs> well, you can keep it. <laughs> no, it, was it really terrible? I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty bad. <laughs> was it pretty bad? <laughs> if it had been about half as long, For me, it would have been pretty bad. But, <laughs> okay. not, but no, Just keep not going. <laughs> Just keep going. All right, anyway. All right, well, I'm not as funny as I thought. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's turning out fantastic. I love the glowing. It's all just about right. Yeah. No, it's all perfectly right. Thanks. Yeah, this is really, this is really amazing. So uh, yeah, crank it out. Let's get it done. Thanks, Amber. Okay, Necrons, Necrons, take two. Oh no! And no! What? No, this one will be like shorter, and then I can get rid of the other one. Okay, sounds good. No. I thought it was good. So we're here with Amberly. She's working on the studio Necrons, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, tell us just a little bit about them. Okay, uh, base coat is. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So here's yeah. all the stuff that's been yes. base coated. Kind of all jumbled in there at this point. But Pretty much is a turquoise. Right. And then so a dry brush. So you hit it with some turquoise. And then a dry brush with the foul green. Okay, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yes, it and is. The purple glowy stuff. Yeah, purple glowy stuff and uh, charcoal. Black charcoal and then lights. brushed. It still needs some refining. Okay, and we took out the that. little yellow stuff, right? Yeah. Don't you think that looks better? Yeah, or, I do. I don't know. I, I still think it needs something, but I'll, I'll work along. I don't know. I, I like these guys. You should do freehand digital runes on some of the bigger stuff, the digital I runes. I think so, yeah. That would finish it, like in gold or something, that'd be really awesome. I actually think the yellow accent idea still should happen. Well, okay. I'll, I'll tie it in. All right, thanks a lot, Amberly. <laughs> Apparently Mason did nothing but play this video game all night. And he's, are you, and he's playing it right now, probably. Just showing it up. Little addict. Now I know how it goes. I'm the same way. It's, uh, Shadows, Shadows of Mordor. Mordor. Oh, this is Shadows of Mordor. Yeah. I thought, uh, I thought you were playing like Arcade. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Holy Seriously, crap. Seriously, it's like yeah. one of the rings we used 300. Like the slow motion. <laughs> we're here with Steve. So, Steve, what you working on, buddy? Just finishing up some Yujing for Infinity. This is the okay. uh, Sun Tzu sniper model. Okay, great. Which is, uh, oh How many figures are in this project? Uh, this one, it's about a dozen or so. Keep take. Oh, also, I'm hoping to be able to use your stalkers. Sure. For if I have a... Guy, you got uh, some sorry. fruit flies going on over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Man. I spilled some soda last night. Oh, I see. <laughs> and you're going nuts for it, huh? Okay. These are cool. I like Thank your you. earth tone thing you got going on. Thanks. Okay, so what else? Um, well, uh, I mean about the circle or what else am I working no, on? I guess yeah, I got these else? vampire counts that are okay. work in progress. Right. This uh, Coven Throne is an insanely detailed model. Um, 
I actually remember seeing this the first time and laughing out loud because it seemed to me like someone had actually just like, I don't know, gone into a trance on CAD design and just decided, we're gonna have all the ghosts, all the ghosts on one model. It'd be amazing. So they did. I, I'm enjoying painting the vampires and I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get this guy back here to look as detailed as I want him to, but uh, it's a neat piece anyway. It's not as bad as I feared it was going to be. And then, I'm sorry. Yeah, go, go ahead. Oh yeah, no, and then there's uh, there's this guy too. I've always wanted to paint one of these. I've never had the opportunity to yet. It's got an idea good. for some, uh, some airbrushing to uh, really kind of bring up the wings. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes, but it looks pretty neat. Ah! <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Steve. Yeah, no problem. Hold on, uh, what's what's with your shirt? Oh, it's Can, uh, uh, the... Cthulhu Grand Absinthe. I figured the, you know. Okay, hold on. Don the... Inside the dream of Ray Le, the, the sleeping Cthulhu... Wait to read awaken. It out loud. Don't read it out loud. How it, it translates? It, bad things happen. Oh, okay. That's it's, really, that's really funny. It's, it's two of the my favorite God things. The God is whatever that says. It's two of okay. my favorite things. It's Absinthe and Cthulhu and the same thing. And I can wear it as a shirt, so... <laughs> All right. It's brilliant. You just, you just have that. I wish I remembered the name of the company that I bought it from. I'd totally throw out like a little plug. I, I met him at, um, at Gen Con this year. Really nice people, but... Uh, sorry, I don't remember the name of your company, but your shirts are fantastic. Well, somebody will put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, Steve. This is good looking stuff. Cool. And he's also drinking uh, Mountain Dew, so that's your, that's yeah. your absence. It's been recovering on a crash couch here. Yeah. Hey, buddy. The crash pad for a second. How you doing? Uh, tired. All right, awesome. Yeah. Story of my life. Woo. Okay, well, glad you're here, man. GP fans, that's your studio update for the day. Thanks for tuning in. And oh, by the way, we got a chocolate cake. This is from a really awesome, amazing client of ours, and uh, we really appreciate it. We're going to be uh, diving into that soon. So, uh, folks, thanks for being part of our great adventure, and um, we will see you tomorrow.